so we're walking on the river. Uh, we always try to do something on the holiday of Thanksgiving. Uh, we do this on Easter and we do this on Christmas uh, where we walk, go on a long walk the day of Christmas. Because we celebrate Christmas on the 24th. It's sort of like a, a day of rest and relaxation. We go on this walk, we have long chats, we have coffee. And today we came to the river in Healdsburg. We brought Bo. And I got to drink coffee with eggnog in it from uh, Poppy and Vine. Lindsay Musco, my dear friend and client. She's brilliant and uh, really good at what she does. So she made eggnog and I had eggnog in my coffee. It makes me smile because it's a tiny bit spiked eggnog. So... Anyway, I probably shouldn't be admitting that on the live video, but that's what I did. See, and you can't have coffee with spiked eggnog if it's not Christmas or a holiday. <laughs> you, just, you don't just do that. But the reason why we come to the river, uh, we chose to come to the river today, is because we also chat a little bit about what we want for the next year and how we want to set the intention for our Christmas today because Christmas is different this year. We miss our families. We miss people that we normally get to hang out with around this time of year and celebrate with and have a gift exchange with and eat lots of food with. So yeah, just setting the intention for today and for the coming year, getting our minds going. What do we want? I think it's really cool to think about Christmas being a time that we reflect on just new and that's really the point of Christmas celebrating a new way a new hope a new peace you know if you are celebrating the birth of Christ on Christmas then really what we're celebrating is that God is with us and so there's so much hope with that because that means we're not alone and I think that that's the part that I've been struggling with the most recently is that I feel kind of alone so today I just wanted to take the time to celebrate that there is a whole season to remind us that we are not alone and that there's new hope and new peace and new freedom. And so I want to lean into that. And the other reason we came to the river is because there's flow here. It just feels so peaceful. It reminds me of that we were only here for a little bit of a time and so I get to think about my father who passed away several years ago, my grandparents, um, and just the generations that came before me and then I'm here with my children so it just feels kind of peaceful and nice and grounding and humbling so that's why we're here and then we're gonna go home because although I know cognitively that I am not supposed to prepare enough food to feed a large family I went to the grocery store to buy a ham and I think I momentarily had forgotten how many people I'm going to be feeding with this ham because it's like a it's this big right it's huge so <laughs> we're gonna be eating ham and uh, opening presents and hopefully there will be some laughter and some sentimental bits and we're gonna be eating and drinking and drinking more of Lindsay's eggnog and we're going to just have a great time and sleep in tomorrow because as per tradition we do Christmas on Christmas Eve and so on Christmas morning we just sleep in and then we wake up and have giant cinnamon rolls and eat some more and drink some more and have a great time so if you're watching this Merry Christmas to you and I my hope and my prayer is that you would find new peace new hope and that you would know that this year while we're all feeling a little bit alone uh, or can feel that way that we're really not and that there's something so much bigger than us that we belong to so take rest in that be kind to yourself stay safe i'll see you soon